In today's what the actual fuck is going on news, let's talk about the situation with Elisa Jordan, who if you're not familiar with is a, a singer, model, writer, and IRL streamer who worked on the Howard Stern show back in the 2010s among other high profile gigs. And this week on Monday, she flipped on her YouTube live stream from Palm Beach, Florida to talk about some terrible news, saying that her boyfriend who goes by the name Squirrel, that he's been cheating on her for the past who knows how long. They're throwing out several different numbers, six months, nine months, a year, two years, eight years, it's really unclear. But either way, she somehow gets a hold of his keys, his wallet, and most importantly, his phone. So she calls her friend and she begins reading some of the texts that he sent Sarah, the woman that he's allegedly been cheating with. Out of blood, rush to my mushroom tip, uh, zero left for brain per usual, I'm gonna buy you a burka. He told me she meant nothing to him, and that's exactly what she told he told her about me, the same thing. I, I'm just attached to him because I'm like afraid of God, not gonna meet anybody else. <laughs> uh, uh. So seemingly a messy situation, one where people would understandably be upset, but rather than just being like, hey, I'm gonna break up with a cheating douchebag today, she straps on her seatbelt, she kicks the car into drive, and she calls Sarah. Hi, is this Sarah? I miss that. You know, at this point, you have people saying, you know, to her credit, uh, Elisa stays calm and cordial, treating Sarah as a fellow victim of Squirrel's duplicity. So this, as she got some criticism for driving while live streaming, talking to Sarah and reading texts off of her phone all at the same time, which is obviously very dangerous, but not nearly as dangerous as what she alleges Squirrel did. It's actually against the law what he did. He texted nudes of you to me. So notably, later on, she seems to say that she just found the nudes on his phone, so it's unclear exactly what happened there. Also, another thing she got criticism for was seeming to go along with racist comments that she claims that Squirrel made. And then I said, oh, who's Sarah? And he's like, oh, no, I don't like her. She's a dumb Mexican. Who's the woman you called earlier? That That's said? Sarah, his girlfriend, his Mexican girlfriend. Hates Mexicans, oh, yeah. by the way. So there you have people saying she doesn't seem to actually agree with that racism, right? She's just quoting him. But whatever the case, she decides to go on a shopping spree and she drives to a mall. They're threatening to use Squirrel's credit card and then flashing his money to the camera. And so at some point, Squirrel apparently catches wind that all of this is happening. And he apparently gets a cop to intercept Elisa in the parking lot. With the officer ordering Elisa to give him back his phone and keys and pointing to him a short distance away. Uh, there's nothing violent happening. I'm no, getting... but he just wants his phone. So he's getting his phone. phone. All right, he's getting his phone. Okay, okay, thank you so much. But then, I shit you not, barely 25 seconds later, this happens. I called Sarah, you Sorry, sorry, sorry. Do you wanna go to jail? Not really, no. And so she gets into the car and then for, I, why is this happening? He gets in as well. And at first, it's just awkward. But to make it even weirder, he's sitting there and just listening to live donations like this. James donated $5. What a cheating snake. Then they're just driving in silence as Here I Go Again by White Snakes playing on the speakers. So eventually they turn that off and they take some calls from live stream viewers. And it goes exactly how you'd expect. Where's your chin, dude? Where did it go? You look like a... An adult baby. And so that goes on for a while with Elisa saying how she posted Sarah's phone number, home address, full name, and Venmo account on a Discord server. And then just adding fuel to the fire, they get Sarah back on the phone. With then, and here's the big thing, I can't show this in today's show, but at different points, Elisa starts punching and slapping Squirrel in the face and body. And after one strike that he claims nearly broke his nose, he says, Next time you f***ing touch me, I'll f***ing dick you. But then she tries to hit him again, and so he yanks her by the hair, commanding her to pull over, repeatedly calling her a dumb C-word while she screams and blares the horn, calling for help. And then with one fistful of her hair still in his grip, he pushes her out of the car. But then apparently someone called the police because according to TMZ, Officers then showed up, watched the video, and decided Elisa was the aggressor, with them arresting her for simple domestic battery and giving us this very unhappy mugshot. With her afterward telling the outlet that she was sorry for her actions and said that it was a moment that she's not proud of. You know, the law is one thing, those cops' judgment is another, and your opinion on this is something else. And so with everything you've seen and heard, I gotta pass the question off to you. What are your thoughts here?